Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Overcomers. I am Evora Bentley. I am a faith coach helping others to change their mind so that they can begin to see their world change around them. I am the daughter of the Most High. I'm a mother, I'm an entrepreneur, and I love, love, love helping others to discover their purpose and why they were created by the Most High. So, if I can be very transparent, I'm under like a reconstruction, right? And um, I think that a lot of times when we start our journey and knowing our purpose and uh, why we were called, we get to a place to where it's like, oh, I want my message to reach everybody. I want everybody who has the ear to hear, to love what I'm going to say. And to be honest, at this time, I am under a reconstruction where the Most High is making me so confident in being the daughter who he called me to be and who I'm supposed to speak about. And just having that boldness like his son, the Messiah. So I am in just such a place where every false identity that would allow me to stand boldly in my true identity is just being stripped from me. So that means that I'm in a place where I'm so focused on only being the voice of the ones that I'm called to. And if anyone gets offended, I love you. But if my voice is not for you, you can unsubscribe, you can unfollow or whatever. Um, and it's a really, really good place. It's a really, really good place. And so I backed away from some other social medias, but uh, the Most High has had me uh, come on to YouTube and also to, I did a video on TikTok really quick, didn't even check like the notifications, posted it, that was it Friday. Um, if many of you who may know my story, watch my videos, um, this may be your first time watching, but um, I was someone, I am a overcomer of suicidal thoughts and depression, and there was a point in time that I really wanted to check out on my life. I didn't believe that I had a purpose. And so, um, Friday passed, it was nine years ago that me and my daughters and my ex was in a traumatic car accident on the day I would have been driving. Um, my ex and my two oldest daughters had to learn how to walk all over again. And um, my youngest daughter had scratches, no broken bones. And I crawled out of the uh, passenger side with no scratches or broken bones, all praises to the most high. And um, it was a time months before that, about nine months before that, that I was seeking the most high. And I was like, I need for you to make yourself real to me. So many things in religion and Christianity had me questioning the existence of the creator. I'm just going to be honest. And so um, it was in 2013 uh, right before, what, my 30th birthday, uh, 31st birthday, I heard, if you change your mind, you will begin to see your world change around you. So when you guys hear that, I heard that in my spirit, and that's how the Most High has guided me through and to really having this boldness and knowing what it was like for his son, the Messiah, to walk this earth, to overcome so many things that you see so many people defeated of. And I wonder, how do I get out of this? So I saw a glimpse of myself doing the video and I was like, maybe I'm not, but um, before I go about doing one of the things that I find that I really, really love, which is going to the mountains. It is just such a place that I connect with the most high and I love it. So that's going to be what I'm going to do after this video and some other things. But let me get into this word really, really quick, this message for whoever it is. So this morning in my, um, you know, time spending alone with the father with Abba. I was taken to Proverbs 25, 28, which um, every day, whatever day it, day it is each month, um, I try to be intentional about reading Proverbs just to get that wisdom, right? So today's the 25th. So Proverbs 25, 28 says, he that hath no rule over his spirit, it's like a city that is broken down and without walls. Okay, that's Proverbs 25, 28. And for those of you who want to see, I'm actually reading out the Holy Bible, King James Version. Uh, this is the 16 with, with the Apocrypha. 
and it actually has missing books in it as well. So now let's go over to Ephesians 4.23. That says, and he, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, okay? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So let me go again. Proverbs 25.28 says, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Ephesians 4.23 says, and be renewed in the spirit of the of your mind, okay? Oh my gosh. So I got so excited when I saw this and what the Father was revealing to me, which is something so clearly that he had me to understand why I heard if you change your mind, you will begin to see your world change around you. So many people talk about the spirit and even in Romans 12 too, where it says, do not be conformed by the things of this world, but be ye transformed to the renewing of your mind so that you may know the acceptable will of God, of the Most High. Excuse me, that's Romans 1 and 2. Guys, this is what we have to understand. Our mind truly is the GPS that is going to lead us to the rival of our destination. So when people, when your spirit is broken, when whatever you're being led by is in your spirit, you can always track back to what's going on up here. So this has to be renewed. Whatever it is you've gone through in life, if you went through some trauma, you've had abandonment issues, rejection, it has to be renewed solely so that you can see you're not defeated, you're not a victim, but you are truly an overcomer and a son and daughter of the Most High. And so many people struggle with their identity in the Most High because their spirit, which is your mind, needs to be renewed. And I want you to be encouraged and go meditate on Proverbs 25 and 28 and Ephesians 4 and 23 to see, y'all, when the Most High created us, oh my goodness, he is the greatest genius. People are so against science. He is the greatest scientist. He is the greatest idealist. Abba is the greatest father. Oh my goodness, the way that he created us, we have no idea on how much we have control in working with the most high, with what's already. It, let me go to another one. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him that is able to do it seemingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Y'all, it's already in. And whatever is being worked is being created up here. We always pray, oh God, please do this, do that. Bring that. Y'all, y'all, that's religion. So many of us got to be set from the chains of religion that doesn't have us understanding how powerful this is. This is your spirit. This is your connection with the most high. Whoever this message is for, Whoever has the ear to hear, if you change your mind, you will begin to see your world change around you. I love you all. Have an amazing day on purpose. Comment, like, share, subscribe.